I know you don't smoke. Blaze. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. Cause it's Friday. It's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got this to do. Yeah, what's up? It's your girl, Sean Don DK. You are tuned in to WTST, the Blaze. Blaze. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's a Friday. It's a Friday. Yeah. It's a Friday. Yeah. Turn up, turn up. Cause yeah. it's a Friday. It's a Friday. It's a Friday. Cause it's a Friday. It's a Friday. It's a Friday. Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 what's up, it's your girl, Shondon, I'm in the building. What's going on, it's Chris James. We got Chris James in the building. We about to hit y'all with that hot or flop. Hot or flop. Segment. Talking hot. strictly, nothing but music, man, nothing but music. Yeah. Chris James was hot in these streets right now, what's going on, boy? Uh, Well, let me start with this Big Sean and Janae Aiko EP. All right. Is it an EP? They said it. No, it's an LP. What's the difference? An EP usually has less than has five tracks or less. Okay, so what's the EP? I thought that's what I said. What's the LP? An LP is basically just your an album. Oh, like I six, see. Seven tracks or more. Okay. All right. All right. So what's going on with the album? What's up? Did you like it? When did it drop? What's the title? Um, uh, the title is 2088. I have no idea when it dropped, like a week ago. It dropped like like last Friday. Uh. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and uh, I liked it a lot. It's definitely it's uh, it's got its own lane. It's not it's that you probably may not hear none of these songs on the radio, but it I, is. I, the, I, I say I I doubt that. I, maybe one or two, but the majority of them I can't see on the radio. I feel you. I feel you. I mean, Big Sean and Janae Aiko. Aikio. Janae Aiko. Janae Aiko. Um, I'm a big fan of both. You know, Big Sean being from Michigan, representing Detroit. Janae, man, she been around since B2K, Lil Fizz cousin. Yeah. And uh, I started back listening to her back in 2011 when she dropped that uh, Selling Souls mixtape. That junk was hot. That's fine. So I love her style, her energy. Her voice is beautiful, and um, you know the based off the collabs that Big Sean and they uh, and she did back in the, in the past. I mean, they they got a nice chemistry there. Yeah, they even they said do. that they was trying to date once upon a time. I heard. Yeah. Allegedly. <laughs> yeah. This this whole album is dating love music. Yeah. And even even a little bit of breakup music. It's, yeah. It's got like the full spectrum. Yeah. It's got everything. But I like that though. I like that. Yeah, it's like it's, it's a, a very unique album. album. A lot. I feel like a lot of people who uh, experience real love from poor or are in love, they can definitely relate to this album. Yeah, at least one or two songs on it. Right, right. Well, I know Chris James. He's been trying to talk about this album for <laughs> weeks. We definitely got to talk about this Kanye West man. Man, I was I was bugging out over this Kanye West. The album. life of Pablo. The life of Pablo. I I've I've been listening to this album front to back, left to right. What's your favorite tracks? My favorite. Okay. Shouldn't have done that. Let me see. Oh, <laughs> Father stretch my hands. We on time frame now. <laughs> Father stretch my hands. Part one. Waves. Thirty hours. No more parties in L.A. No more parties in L.A. Yeah, those please, are, baby. Those are definitely Father, my I favorite. stretch. Is that the one with the choir, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that song, the you're choir. You're the y'all. only power. <laughs> you hear me singing that all Man, the time. <laughs> that choir had the anointing, y'all. Man, I'm telling I, they you, was I'm, ministering to me. <laughs> yeah, I was telling you, it felt like I was in I was in Memphis again. I was I turning like I was around. Seven I was again. like, what is this I'm feeling? <laughs> So oh, yeah, man. um, what do you like about the album? A lot of people don't like it. A lot of yeah, a lot of people don't like it for the exact reason that I do like it, and that's because it is so all over the place. It is so random. One moment you got college dropout Kanye, the next moment you got Yeezus Kanye, then somewhere in the middle you got uh, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy Kanye. It's like all over the place, and uh-huh. that's what I love about it. Cause like I feel like the album as a concept. Was I feel like it went over everybody's heads. That's what yeah. I think. I feel like the entire concept just flew over people's heads and they just couldn't get with it. They was looking for more like 
I don't know. I don't know what people was looking for. They was all like, we want the old Kanye. And then Kanye came back with the... We want the old Kanye. The smooth the Kanye. Kanye. The he? groovy Kanye. About to hit you in your face, Kanye. <laughs> yeah, he what, came up with the... He came like out Kanye. with the Eric Kanye. Every version of Kanye you could possibly think of is in that album. That's we want the I love, love Kanye. The cool Kanye. The pretty Kanye. About to come. Okay. That did not go with that beat. Right now we got Drake. He is the gummy on the cell phone. <laughs> All right, so moving forward, man. Wait, before I move forward, you think Kanye West is going to make the top five or top ten albums of the year? No. Is it no? No, and the reason why is because, first of all, he he had it on title. I don't know. That creative content was really good. That's what I really like about it. He might make my top five or top ten. Oh, no, yeah. He might make some people's... Wait, what are, you, what are you asking? You know how every year, at the end of the year, everybody has their top five albums of 2016. Will uh-huh. Kanye be on somebody's list? Oh, he, yeah. He'll be on somebody's list, definitely. Uh, Will I thought he be you on the majority like, list? I, don't, I thought you meant maybe like Complex's list. I don't think he'll make Complex. Anybody list. That's yeah, what he'll, I'm be, he'll definitely be on my <laughs> list. You said, no, no, you can't go. But you already said I didn't say it wouldn't be on mine. No, he won't. Look, I didn't know. I didn't know the scope you was talking. I guess so, man. All right, whatever. All right. So, but what about this Wiz Khalifa album, man? Entitled yeah, I could, Khalifa. I could talk about this album about half as much as I could talk about Kanye's album, but it's I, still good though. It's good. It's so. I mean, it's okay. It's um, it's the best thing. It's like thing. two two or three songs I like on it. It's there. That's the about best it. thing that Wiz has put out since. What was it? Since I feel like since uh, Kush and OJ. Yeah, that one. The best album he's put out since that. Because, you know, right after that, he got all commercialized. What's, I mean, everybody does. They're trying to get, get that money and tap into that mainstream market. Yeah, but, but he, the- he the, that, that's the problem with Wiz, though. He ain't got no depth. So when he got commercialized, it was like, what am I listening to? I mean, I that's mean, the way I felt. Y'all thugger rugger don't have death either, though. I didn't even understand what you... What? Young Thugger Rugga, he doesn't have death either. He doesn't have death... Oh, death. Oh, I didn't know Def. what you said. Hey, <laughs> man. I'm talking slang here, brother. Dang. Okay. Well, what? anyways... You, you moving I, on? Or? No, I'm not moving oh. on. <laughs> I really like Bake Sale with Travis Scott on Khalifa album. He That's got good. this one song. What is, it's like a melody. I love it. Uh, the Elevated. I love that song. And that's yeah. about it for me. That's about it. Really? Oh, yep. man. I love City View. That City View is probably my best. That's my favorite song. How did that here. City View city go? View. I don't, man, I can't sing it. All right. Well, anyways, we moving <laughs> the dog. on. I ain't done. Oh, on. my bad. The dog. There was one more. And that's Cowboy. Now, that Cowboy, oh, my goodness. That song made me want to. Peaceburg Stunner Cowboy. That one. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I guess so. Yeah. All right, so we're moving on finally. That's on high. Cool. We're moving on to Young Thug yeah. Slime Season 3. Yeah. Young Thugger Rugga. Now, Chris James, you said you, you did not used to like Young Thug. Nah, I did. Lately, I be seeing that you be bumping a lot of Young Thug. Yeah. How, what, do you like this album or I not? really do. I really, out of all of Young Thug's projects, I really like this one. But you said that about the last Young Thug album. That wasn't, well, that, was that an album or a mixtape? I don't know though? what it was, but because you said that. I feel like Young Thug, no, nah, Young Thug uh, debut album was really good. I wouldn't say this is better than his debut album, really? but it's good. Yeah, really. I don't remember it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I listened to it once and I was like, nah. Nah, I don't think you listened to it. I remember listening you be to loud. it. <laughs> no, I remember listening to it and I was like, nah, I don't know. Oh I don't my gosh. To it. Okay. I don't like so it. we gonna move on from Young Thug. No, nah, well, I wanna talk about it. All right, what you wanna say? I, I really like the song Digits. I think that's my that's my favorite song on that album is Digits. Alright. I really I like I like how it flows and everything. Is is that number one? On my list? No, the number one on track on the album. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's the best song. Wait, no, no, on the out, no. The best song is the number one. The first one? Yeah. That was good, too. It ain't my favorite. Everything else is mediocre. That's why I was like, this is not Young Thugger's best work. I feel like this probably was like a bunch of unreleased tracks or something, just trying to get out there to keep a buzz going for himself for a major project. See, when I get confused, like, and this is my problem with, with rappers who, like, 
just try to stay mainstream to stay mainstream. You got to stay relevant. Well, yeah, but I can't. I can't tell what's an album, what's just a mixtape, what's them just throwing stuff off. That's together. how good music is now. Huh? It's almost like artists don't need to be in the bro- I mean, box. <laughs> you said they don't? No. You can pretty much do whatever you feel like. Drake could drop a three track. Well, I mean, it's not going to be considered a, you know what I'm saying? But he can pretty much create a freedom. You can do whatever you want to do. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, like, I just can't, I can't tell what's what. Like, let me tell you the difference between a mixtape and a mainstream album. No, you don't have to tell me. I'm saying no. I'm about to tell you to, so so it, you can distinguish to, the two. No, I'm not saying I can't. I'm saying with Young Thug, I can't. With with Thug, I can't tell what which, which one of his projects. I can is definitely. A, uh, I can tell that his debut album that was a real album. Okay, what was I'm and the up. only reason why I can tell that is always going to be about the marketing. And what? if it's not about if it's not a real album, they're not really pushing to make sales, and they're just really doing it just for a buzz or just to make music. You're not going to spend that much money into marketing, the marketing side and the promotions to a promotional side of it. Okay, but what was I'm up? I'm up. That wasn't even that. But I didn't even know that really existed. I didn't you said either. something. I didn't I'm either. telling you, you you gonna know it's an album when you see that mug being marketed. But like, then at the same time, this had. Like no marketing need. I didn't know exactly. that it was coming. This ain't not an album. But this is an album. No, this is an album. This is an album. Slime yeah, this season is season three. Yeah, this is an album. As far as I know, it's not an album to me. But that's what I'm trying. That's, that's, that's my whole one point. Of, that's one of the mixtapes, right? It's, it's that, on Slime Season Three. What Slime Season Three? Yeah. I heard, well, from what I read, it was an album. I wouldn't consider it an album. And I read that I'm up. Like, was um, if an you're EP. if you're reading this, um, it's too late. I really didn't consider that an album when it no, first came out. They but said it was a mixtape. They said it was a mixtape. I consider that an album. Okay. But the only I reason why I consider, yeah, because it was so good. Yeah, it was it, cohesive. And he everything. really don't have to market. <laughs> yeah, it was so good. But um, yeah, I really don't consider that as an album. I mean, that's the difference. I mean, they gonna put money behind because record labels gonna want to make money. They gonna push that they gonna push that album it's gonna be market great like it's gonna be awesome the way they market it It, they they didn't market this he just dropped this out of nowhere (laughs) you know what I'm saying so it's just like they really ain't looking to make money off that maybe in the long run when he gonna tour people wanna see him because you know he got some hot songs but other Uh than that nah so we gonna move on to Flatbush Zombies yeah, you could talk about that because I that's when I get to that. <laughs> it's good. I can't remember some of the songs that I like because I be listening to a lot of music. But if you get the chance, everybody, please go check out Flashbook Zombies three thousand one and Lace Odyssey. It's this real dope, cool Nas whose world is this type of vibe. If you like that type of hip hop. Oh really? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. It's yours. Mm-hmm. Nah, like, okay. Let's move on to Kitchen Lamar Untitled A Master Dude just won what about four or five Grammys? Yeah. Four to Pimple Butterfly. Oh, I was about to say, I thought you meant for this. So I was like, how did he do that? No, nah, four <laughs> yeah. to Pimple Butterfly. And yeah. then, you know, drop this out of nowhere. Yeah. And which, it's fire. Yeah, that and I think that was the whole point. I think the whole point it was like He basically you was, made a statement. Like yeah. they <laughs> he deserved those Grammys. Like right. this is why. Boom. Because there, there you go. When he doesn't try, he sounds good. Exactly. When he when he when he don't want it when it ain't got no purpose, it's hot. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. OVO. I mean, I'm a big fan of OVO, big fan of Drake. I love his label. I love the sound. Party next door. He writes a lot for Drake. He does a lot of ghostwriting. For different celebrities as well but he just dropped this come see me featuring drake it's pretty dope it's really slow a little bit too slow but i really do like the meaning and the words and the lyrics so it's a pretty good song well you was playing that i didn't even know that was new yeah that was new it, like i could tell he probably worked with drake on some of his old stuff because it sounded like old drake <laughs> like yeah. mostly by the beat though just like the beat and the vibe had that old drake sound to it yeah most definitely and we definitely got to talk about asap ferg i am in love with asap ferg i love his voice i love his style i love everything about this dude and um he been dropping some fire yeah let it bang let it bang is dope let it bang um is good. what's the one with future 
New uh, Level. New Level is good. New Level is dope. Uh, I didn't like the one with Skrillex. The one with Skrillex was hot <laughs> garbage. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to listen to the one he just dropped today. Yeah. I ain't listening to that one yet either. So I definitely got to get a chance to listen to that. But um, I'm like... I, I, I like that he's dropping these singles, but like I'm one of those dudes who like man save save it for me, you know. When I when I get an album, I want it all to be fresh, you know. I understand, but he's not the one of those type of artists. Yeah, I know. Like um, he's basically doing it old school. Before you drop the album, you drop singles. singles yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people haven't been dropping singles lately, but Ape Sapphire has so. I'm, I think he's dropping too many. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's dropping it's, like it's four like week five after now. week. <laughs> But I mean, it's like an eighteen track album. So. Right, I can't wait to uh, listen to it. What's what's the name? To prosper, live and always prosper. strive and prosper. Yeah, yeah, I think it's gonna be fire, man. I think it's gonna be fire. We definitely gotta talk about you know ASAP Game. They've been dropping fire. Oh yeah, the wavy, the wavy Wednesdays. Wednesdays. Yeah, yes. it's been it's been good. Yeah, it's been good. I'm really I'm hoping ASAP um Rocky drops something. Really? I think he might. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I think if he do, he he should wait till like you know later in the year. I would definitely say that. Drop a mixtape or something. Yeah, though. yeah. Because I kind of miss some new music coming from. Right. Because his last album was it was really good, but it didn't, it was too different to like I see, satisfy. I, I like his last album a lot. But I mean, it didn't see it wasn't heavy with bars though, you know. And like he's not a bars. I yeah, mean, right. At long last, I mean, the, no, uh, he's not as uh, lyric. He's not as lyric as J Cole. Long live. I'm not saying that. I but don't long listen live to ASAP, ASAP Rocky for bars. But long live ASAP was full of bars though. They didn't have to be quality bars, but it was just him spitting on every track. I see. It so wasn't so much he, of that. He didn't do that on his last album. No, on this last album, there was a couple of them where he was just singing and moaning. And, and I'm not saying it was bad, though. I really liked what he was going for. He was going for, like, a more exper- experimental, atmospheric type of type of thing. So what's wrong sense. with that? There's nothing wrong. I'm saying I like the album. I, the album was a good album. I just want more of him just rapping. That's what I want. I see. To, to fill my appetite. It could just be, like, ten a 10-track ten mixtape, like you said. And I would be satisfied. I, I want him to do whatever he feel like he got to do to make good music. <laughs> it doesn't necessarily have to be bars to me. I just want to hear the uh, everything you have to offer as an artist. That's how I look at it as. Right? Because I don't want no two, I don't know. I don't want no two trick pony. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Mm-mm. it depends. Nope, I, I mean, want, you can't, I want, you can't you, I want say, you to offer everything you have to offer you as an artist. You can't say Drake did nothing but rap. I mean, did nothing but sing from the point he started till now that he'd be where he is right now. What do you mean? Drake's song on three, four albums before he just started. That's it. He did nothing but sing. Okay. Oh, come on. Nothing, nothing was the same. He like wasn't half and half. really singing like that. He probably just had like a few songs on the album where he was singing. Nothing was the same. It was easily half and half. Okay. That's good. But I, that's a, okay. Let's go on. But you <laughs> no, saying ASAP Rocky didn't have bars at all? Or? No, I didn't say that. So what are you saying? Because you saying nothing was the same. No, was half cause and were, half. No, nah, because you were saying you just want to hear whatever they have to offer. And I'm trying to say if Drake only offered this singing, do you think he'd still be in the same spot that he is now? Because I really think he he really blew off when he Probably got his not. bars up and. He started, you know. Well, we all know Drake has ghostwriters, right? That's that's fine. But I'm not Drake about been that. rapping. I know. But he he he's not. He does both. That's what's make him unique. Uh huh. And he had his own style when Drake first dropped back in two thousand eight with um what was it? What's this called? The famous mixtape. So, so far, far gone. gone. It was a whole new, brand new style where this dude was moaning, groaning, and um rapping and. Talking about his feelings and et cetera, et cetera. I feel like as an artist, he gave what he had to offer. Okay. I mean, you can't go wrong there if you want it. I feel like. Yeah, I'm, that's not what I'm saying. I know, though. but sometimes <laughs> I feel like people put artists in the box, though. It's like, just because we might not like something or we want to hear more of that, it doesn't mean, like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? It's just like, I feel like ASAP Rocky, I, I really do love that album. Uh huh. One of my favorite albums. 
That's one of your favorite albums. I put, long that, last ever. I put that on everything, yes. Oh, uh, okay. That's my style. I mean, you should know. I don't ever hear you playing that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard you play that album in such a I long time. I haven't played it in a while, but that doesn't mean I get, you know, me, I get tired of listening to the same music and over and over. I'm constantly looking for new music. Uh-huh. That's the reason why I haven't played it in a while, because after a while, I'm like, okay, I'm tired of hearing this. Just like how I'm tired of hearing um, nothing was the same. I played that album out. I don't listen to Drake a lot. <laughs> I played Drake out. Yeah, I still be listening to that now. Man, I played it out. See, you just give me. You just got on Drake. But <laughs> you I, just got on that album. I was on that album when that boy just first dropped yeah, Spanking New. Yeah, <laughs> when I everybody was that. dogging out that uh, cover. <laughs> what, with a little baby head. Uh huh. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. Let's but, go on to the next one. What's the next one? No, Royce the nine, no we need to start talking about this. He tried to talk about ASAP last play. Royce the Fine Nine. Um, I'm not really a big fan of Royce, but we do respect him. He's from Detroit. Uh, dope legend, rapper, all that, etc. Above. I didn't get a chance to listen to his project. Did you? Yeah, yeah, I listened to it, and I'm not even. I'm not a fan of him at all. I had never even heard of him until he dropped this. Because there was a whole lot of... Uh, he had been ramping up for it for a while. So, when it dropped, everybody was like, check it out, he's awesome. I'm like, okay, all right, whatever. And I was heading to work. I listened to the first half, and I was like, oh, okay. And then I was heading back for work, and I listened to the second half, and I was like, this goes in. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it is good. I wasn't expecting it to be as good as it was. Because mm-hmm. the dude, he goes crazy. He He's, he's like, very lyrical. Very, very lyrical. All right, so I definitely got to get him a listen, man. I know yes. a few years ago, him and Eminem dropped a joint album. Can't remember what it was called, but it was fire. It was fire, so I definitely got to listen to that. But I and, definitely want to... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I was going to say the production is like top tier. Top tier? Yeah, the production is really Is there any good. trap on there? Uh, Really? I, I really couldn't say. If it was, I don't remember. I'd have to listen to it I'm again. starting to get tired of trap. It really doesn't have that much of a trap vibe to it. It's, it also kind of just reminds me of like early 2000s kind of style. Like that early Eminem I style. I see, kinda, yeah, but that's it's his more style. Modern, you yeah. Know? But the, if there's any song, if you, even if you listen to it, you're like, this is garbage, you just keep going through it. Listen to Tabernacle. Uh huh. That song was amazing. That's the best storytelling song, which I miss those. Don't you miss storytelling songs? Yeah, Eminem was really good at that. Yeah, that's the best one What's I've that heard Stan in a song? long time. Yeah, Stan, yeah. Yeah, he was really good at that story. That's how you know you're a really good rapper if you can tell a story. Yeah. Tupac I think that's why Good Kid Mad story. City was so so big. It's mm-hmm. just pretty much like, I like half the story. storytelling. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I love it so much because I love storytelling. I feel like he did it so good. And, yeah. and I love stories about... LA anyways like yeah. the hood movies um right. the society and stuff like I just love LA culture so yeah I thought it was pretty dope any other songs music you want to mention before we get up out of here are we gonna talk about what we waiting on no nah, man we ain't got time to talk about that we talk about that next time we can't just pop out and pop out like <sighs> a couple names go ahead real quick we about to wrap it up everybody we about to say who we waiting on go ahead I want to you know Chance is supposed to drop this month hopefully we'll see Drake is supposed to drop this month Six God ASAP supposed to drop this month who ASAP the mob the, oh okay go ahead boy no she just thought to my ASAP right go ahead no nah. <laughs> Panda dropping this psych you said what? Panda dropping this Panda. month. Uh, you mean designer? Designer. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I was like, who? Panda. Uh, there's some. There's some hints to Travis Scott possibly dropping another uh, project. So. I hope so. I really like Travis Scott a lot. Um, who else? Kanye going on tour. He dropping in the summer. Yeah, he's dropping an album in the summer. Isn't that crazy? I bet it better not be garbage. <laughs> I don't think it is because even on the. The title sounds crazy. Like, the title is completely insane. What's the title? It's like Turbo Graphs. I can't pronounce oh, it. Oh, Lord. I don't even understand. <laughs> but, like, apparently oh, the man. singles, he's been he's dropped, I think, a single or two from it. And, like, from what I've heard, they're really good. I didn't, I didn't even hear this. You didn't say anything about that. Yeah, because I never got to listen to them. And, like, they, I think, oh, they were, okay. I think they were only up for a certain amount. They kind of, like, you know, took them down. I see. So... 
Let me see. That's all I can think of. I'm hoping there's new Gambino. I ain't heard nothing about it, but you yeah. know, I'm always I looking don't out. Know. Yeah. I'm always looking out for him. Let's uh, see. Can't think of nobody else right now. Man, yeah, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for, I'm looking out for the same people. Uh on the R and B tip, uh I want Chris Brown to drop something, but I want him to be a little bit more experimental with his next project. Cause I'm getting tired of hearing the same old I'm gonna go back to sleep, girl. All that stuff. I'm like, man, we gonna do something different. Switch Don't it up. Yeah, no, because you want whatever the ours has to offer. I want basically what I mean is I want what they have to offer. I want like new things. I want all of them. You you get what I'm trying to say? No. Not no more. <laughs> oh Lord. It's, yeah, we do don't agree on music. But um I definitely want to see something new from Chris Brown because he been giving us he been uh, Fetty what? I want a new song from him like a, a good summer banger. Oh yeah, I we got that, we got to get a good, good summer banger, and I'm hoping that Six God um, blesses us with a legendary album. Do you think? Do you think it will be legendary? I I hope so. It's been like so much um, publicity around this album since it what twenty fourteen. The hype has been crazy real. And Drake just be having hits at the hit at the hit. So I, I I hope he. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. He got a lot of stuff to talk about. He can talk about the, his relationship with Rihanna. He can talk about his relationship with Serena. He can talk about the Meek Mill. How everybody don't like it because he got a ghostwriter. I mean, he got a lot of fuel. Ooh, ooh speaking of that, one one last thing. Did you hear that Meek Mill? Man, Bill, we gotta go. No, Meek Mill made a Summer 16 remix. Yeah, I did hear about that. Was it good? I didn't listen to it. I was like, I, I mean, first of all, that that took a lot of respect out of me. How are you gonna diss somebody on their own song? Yeah, I don't know. That don't make no sense. Don't nobody care about Meek Mill no more. What yeah, he been doing? Man. It's not even. We just like, oh, okay. And keep, right. That's pretty much what I said. I was like, oh, well, you know. Yeah, I didn't even listen to it. That ain't make he's no not sense. gonna bounce back from bad to back, so he's not. No, nah. I think he could bounce back if he just put it in the past, but he won't put it in the past. That's yeah, he's problem. still holding on to it. Yeah, man, I don't know, but this is the uh, the <laughs> I'm wrapping it up for the last time. <laughs> you are listening to your girl Shondon, Chris James, TGIO. Thank God it's Friday. Stay tuned. We will be dropping more podcasts in the future. All right, holla.